a boat made of bottles. A boat with a difference. The plastic he looks similar to many other boats or yachts in Sydney Harbour. It's 18 meters long, 6 meters wide, and it weighs about 12,000 kilograms. It carries a crew of 6 people and has an average speed of 5 knots. However, once you get near to the plastic, you realize there is a big difference. It's made of 12,500 reclaimed plastic bottles. How did the plastic begin? One day, the environmentalist David de Rockschild was reading some information about all the plastic in the seas and oceans. He couldn't believe what he was reading. For example, humans throw away four out of every five plastic bottles they use, and plastic rubbish causes about 80% of the pollution in the sea. Soon afterward, Rockshield decided he wanted to help the fight against pollution in the sea. To create publicity for the problem, he started building a boat made of plastic bottles. Designing the plastic As well as building the boat with recycled plastic, it was important for him to make the boat environmentally friendly and user friendly. The boat uses renewable energy sources, including wind power and solar energy. The crew can make meals with vegetables from the small garden at the back of the boat. They can take a break from work and get some exercise by using the special exercise bicycle. The energy from the bike provides power for the boat's computers, and if anyone needs to take a shower, the boat's shower uses salt water from the sea. The journey. The rock shield sailed the plastic across the Pacific Ocean from San Francisco to Sydney. That's 15,372 nautical kilometers. On the way, the rock shield took the special boat through the Great Garbage Patch. It's a huge area in the Pacific with 3.5 billion kilograms of rubbish. You can see every kind of human rubbish here. Shoes, toys, bags, toothbrushes. But the worst problem is the plastic. It kills birds and sea life. How well did plastic survive the journey? The journey wasn't always easy and the rock shield and his crew had to take care during storms. There were giant ocean waves and winds of over 100 km per hour. The whole journey took 129 days. Originally, the rock shield thought the boat could only travel once, but it survived so well that he is planning to sail it again one day.